When Shoney's manager Mitch Roberts opened his front door to ex-employee Paul Dennis Reed Jr., Roberts had no idea he was about to aid in arresting a serial killer. All he knew was Reed wanted Roberts to rehire him. It was June 25, 1997, three months after Reed had committed his last known Tennessee homicide. Minutes later, Reed was pulling a knife and gun on Roberts. I believe he was going to kill my family, then drive me to Shoney's to open the safe, then kill me, Roberts explains now. He got inside the house to call police. Reed fled. Roberts' information and suspicions led to the arrest of one of history's most heinous murderers. Paul Dennis Reed Jr. was one of several children born to Paul Reed Sr. and his wife Joni in Texas. After his parents divorced, Paul Jr. and his sister lived with their paternal grandmother. The elderly woman did her best, but Paul was impossible to control. He abused animals, bullied children, stole and destroyed property. From the age of four, he attempted to murder his grandmother. A priest finally advised the woman to send eight-year-old Paul to a boy's home, fearing for her safety and the safety of others. As he grew, Paul dabbled in drug use, attempted to sexually abuse his sister and mother, and racked up a juvenile record as fast as the police could type for theft, fighting, and stealing cars. He dropped out of school, remaining a habitual liar, physically violent, and an incurable thief with a vicious temper and no regard for the law. Sometimes accompanied by a boyhood friend, Paul Reed committed robberies and burglaries. Convicted in 1984 for a series of restaurant robberies, he gave sage advice to fellow prison inmates. Cut your hair and dress nice so people won't suspect you. He also vowed, next time, I won't leave witnesses. He had assaulted hospital and prison staff. He claimed mental abuse and body and mind control by government scientific technology devices. Despite being labeled dangerous and a potential menace to society, Reed was paroled in 1990. He resided in Texas and Oklahoma for some time, traveling to Illinois, suspected of molesting the children of both girlfriends and family. It is probable he committed crimes during this time period, but no proof exists. Reed decided he could sing and wanted to be famous. He likened his sound to Hank Williams Sr. and Garth Brooks. Reed learned guitar and made a few demo recordings. He had plastic surgery, paying with a workers' comp settlement. He had professional publicity photos made and signed them as Justin Parks, his stage name. He had the talent, the determination, and the tools, Reed decided, and headed for the country music mecca to become rich and famous. Paul Reed departed for Nashville, Tennessee in the mid-1990s. He would not become famous for his singing. On the morning of February 16, 1997, Reed talked himself into a Donaldson Captain D's restaurant where, after a robbery, he murdered 16-year-old Sarah Jackson and her manager and friend, 25-year-old Steve Hampton. Sarah was a vivacious, friendly girl who was a month away from her 17th birthday. Steve left behind three children and a grieving widow. He was a proud store manager and a loyal friend. Reed used the stolen money to purchase a car. The double murders left a city reeling. Changes were made to local fast food restaurant operations. Stores near the Captain D's began practicing various safety measures. A killer was on the loose but left behind a clue. A partial print on Steve's movie rental card discovered on a Nashville road along with Steve's wallet and its contents. No one knew at the time the killer worked at a Shoney's and worked out at a gym a few miles from the Captain D's. Just when the city felt life returned to normal, Reed robbed a McDonald's in Hermitage, not far from the Captain D's. On March 23, 1997, police found employees shot execution style in a back room. 17-year-old Andrea Brown was an academic magnet student who loved books. Ronald Santiago, 27, had left his family in Puerto Rico to provide a better life for his wife and baby. Robert Sewell, 23, was a science fiction fan and loved building models. Reed had attempted to murder employee Jose Gonzalez, stabbing him 17 times. Jose played dead, and Reed departed with the restaurant's money. It was Jose's third day on the job. 
a serial killer was now at large. Nashville's Metro Police Department investigators eschewed...